Hello, and you say yo, my dudes. Ladies, gentlemen, children of all ages, welcome back to another episode of Watch Me Eat. Now on today's episode, we have something that we have eaten before from our good friend, the Kentucky Fried Chicken. Okay, basically a few years back, maybe around, I think around one or two years back, I've eaten the one and only famous Kentucky, what they call it. It's, it's a taco made out of a chicken fillet. They use it and then they put um, taco things inside and they close it. So basically, it's a chicken taco, okay? But today, in 2022, KFC has come up with a revamped Kentucky. They call it the mac and cheese kentaco. Very simple stuff. It's the same kentaco, but with mac and cheese in it. Yo, guys, so today I went to KFC and bought the kentaco with mac and cheese inside. So I want to give it a try today with all of you. Another thing I want you all to take note is that they've removed the fries from the menu and replaced them with wedges. Would you look at that? Take a look at that wedges, baby. Ooh, let's give it a taste test, a quick one. Hmm. Is there cheese on this? Not gonna lie, it tastes not bad. It tastes not bad. Kind of soft and cold because, you know, it's been there for quite a while, but the taste is actually not bad. Mmm. Not gonna complain, it's pretty good. I'll give it a solid 4 out of 5 for this wedges. It'd be better if it was warmer. But that looks like, guys, remember, no more fries, we have wedges. So, wedges is a new game here. Check that out, just check it out. Now before I unbox the Kentaco itself, if you are new to this channel, do consider pressing the subscribe button and also drop this video a like, it will mean a lot to me and help out with the algorithm. Without further ado guys, let me dive into the Kentaco right here. Mm, oh, would you look at that? Would you look at that? Straight up, when I open the box, you can see mac and cheese inside a chicken fillet now. First look, this looks pretty, pretty small. Like when I bought the KFC from the store, I carried it home. I did not expect the Kentaco to be in this kind of size. Okay, this is the normal chicken that they put in the box. But size comparison, yeah, you know what I'm saying? So I was like looking for it and I was saying, where is the Kentaco? I thought this was the wedges, honestly, honestly. So when I opened it just now, I already saw the Kentaco. Pretty small, but you know, Size does not matter. Does it? Does it matter actually? I don't know. This is the Kentaco, guys. Let's give you a closer look. Oh, they even give like a little holder thingy. Very thoughtful of you, KFC. Here's a close up of the Kentaco. It's so small, it fits in my hand. Like one hand, I can already hold it. Uh, this meal with a drink, it costs around $8.95 if you got it for takeaway. If you order it online, it's slightly pricier. But yeah, price aside, let me give this bad boy a... Oh man, oh man, come on KFC. It's so little. Wait, let me just see the contents of this. There's nothing else. Basically, chicken filet, mac and cheese, some mayonnaise inside. That's all. Pretty empty, just like me. But let's give it a taste test guys, the Kentaco mac and cheese for all of you watching back home there. Let's give it a taste test right now. I'll get a big bite from the center. I know I know you don't usually get bite in the center, but whatever, it's a food review man. From the center we go. Very, very greasy. What you expect? Another one. Hmm. Honestly, guys, it's a little bit underwhelming for me. Because if you really break down these ingredients by itself, it's literally a chicken fillet, mac and cheese. That's it. That's it. I can't say anything about it. It's literally the name Kentaco mac and cheese. I was crazy hyped for this bad boy. 
But in the end, I'm only left with some disappointments. Don't get me wrong, the filet is amazing. It tastes so fresh, it tastes so good. However, it's a little bit bland and boring. There's no veggies in there, there's no spices, there's no KFC secret sauce anywhere to be found. So honestly, it's a little bit sad. Yeah, from KFC. KFC, Ketako, mac and cheese. Very, very sad day for me. For the reviews out of 5 up milks, I'll be giving the KFC Kentucky with mac and cheese inside a very sad 1 out of 5. Now it means a few spots they could have done so much better with the sauces, with the seasonings, even more ingredients. Also the cheese in the mac and cheese, I don't taste it y'all. If I want to eat cheese, they gotta be oozing, spreading out like crazy. This was, this was dry. If I'll give another name for this guy right here, I'll call it the KFC mac. No cheese, there's no cheese at all KFC, come on man, come on. But anyways, that is my review for the KFC Kentaco, the new one with the mac and cheese. Honestly, go and try it if you want to, there's no stopping you. It's not bad, but not also very good, like wow, you gotta die die, you gotta try this, that kind of thing, no. It's just like, once you hit it, never again kind of thing. But overall, very, very nice uh, chicken filet. I like how fresh it is, and you know, KFC doesn't mix with their fillets. So that's about it. Also, if you never watched my first Kentucky review, a few years back, I'll put it first thing down in the description below. Go check it out. That was a banger right there. But yeah, anyways, I'm going to end the video right here. Thank you so much for watching me review this bad boy over here. Leave a comment below if you agree with me that this Kentucky is like a really sad combination today. I expected more, you know. But you know, once again, I'm going to share the Spider-Man quote. If you expect disappointment, you won't be disappointed. Oh, I love that quote so much. Anyways, I'm gonna end the video right here, guys. Remember to eat big, live big, make your life big, and as always, follow our dreams. Remember, eat all foods in moderation. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye.